Hi hey guys, I've been playing with the ESP8266, the new Wi-Fi module that's like four dollars. It's amazing. And what it is basically it allows uh, this this uh, board over here has the all the capability to connect to a Wi-Fi network, connect to the internet, uh, go get web pages, uh, do a form post, whatever. Uh, wirelessly through Wi-Fi, not through RF, not through um, Ethernet, but actually through Wi-Fi, it supports um, the uh, WPA password and things like that. So, and it only has four connections basically to the Arduino. Uh, it has basically the red and black here is power, and then two more wires: one for transmit, one for receive and the uh, Arduino will talk to it as if it's an old old modem using AT command so you know you say it will say things like AT and then the name of the Wi-Fi uh, access point and then the password and it, once it's connected you send another AT command to go get a web page and things like that so um, this is a I've gotten the wire, wiring from all over the internet. There's different models apparently of these. This one is the ESP01 I got from eBay for less than $4, shipping included, from the US. Pretty amazing. The guys was very, ni very nice too because I had some issue running this and he was actually very responsive on, the, on, on eBay. Anyway, so let's talk about how uh, I hooked this up right now. And the way it is hooked up, basically, like I said, there are four wires. There is the ground wire right here. There is the positive wire right here. This device is 3.3. So I just happen to have an FD, FTDI board that supports 3.3. You can also probably also get this power from the Arduino. And then uh, so power goes right here and here. And then the other two, like I said, is the RX and TX. So the TX, um, oh, let's do the RX first. So the uh, PC or the Arduino will send whatever the command it needs to send the AT commands goes through there to the RX he will figure out what those commands means and actually execute them you know like connect to the Wi-Fi access point whatever and it will respond with an OK or whatever uh, the data that is being gotten from the website transmit over here back to the FTDI board to the PC or you know, this FTDI, FTDI board of course could also be just the Arduino so there's no FTDI board but the Arduino will talk to it directly so I mean uh, I think that's about all I could say I mean there's all kinds of information but the cool thing is actually I got this to communicate I haven't actually got it to uh, talk to my Wi-Fi access point but that's next but before I uh, put this on the Arduino I want to actually uh, um, show you that it actually work so yeah this is my wiring right here I got whole bunch of red wires those are basically these guys right here so those guys here are these guys right here the middle two. Oh, this is kind of interesting um, it doesn't come with a header let me take this off of here so I could show you what I did it doesn't come with a header so what I did is I soldered two uh, angled uh, headers to make it breadboard compatible it's kind of cool um, and I guess if you don't have one of these you could just probably wire it using you know one of these female headers on one end and male header on the other end oh, this one's female female whatever you know and put in a breadboard but this makes it a lot cleaner I thought so let me put this back on and we'll hook it up to the PC for real so it's back so this one will go to the PC here see what the PC say I have uh, on the PC is basically a terminal program this is just putty is a terminal program I use and you do a, an AT command and then you press return and this is one of my issues it nothing happens but it turned out that the uh, uh, the ESP8266 the module wants both our character turn and a line feed and to do a line feed I press to press control J and that OK right there came from the uh, the Wi-Fi board so and like I said there's a whole bunch of other commands like I think reset is a T R S T return control J 
and it actually just reset and it tells you what version it is and things like that but from here on it's just about a matter of you know trying to understand all the AT commands which thankfully by now uh, people have translated from the Chinese original documentation so it'll be a lot easier for me to read so next I guess is uh, hooking it up to the internet thanks for watching guys bye bye